Hey guys, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is talk about Zencash's statement from yesterday. They published a statement about what they're planning to do uh, in response to the release of the Bitmain Z9 Mini, the Equihash miner that can do 10,000 souls from only 300 watts of power that retails at $2,000. All of the developers of the Equihash community have responded to this. There's been a big discussion about it. Um, I have talked about this subject a few times over the last week and I will talk about it more in the future. I realize, you know, some people might be bored with this, but I think this is very important, especially for the viewers of my channel, because predominantly I do realize a lot of you are GPU miners, a lot of you are mining Equihash coins, a lot of you guys are buying Equihash coins. So it's something that we've been talking about a lot, and yeah, it's something we will continue to discuss until this is resolved. Now, the article was written by the co-founder of Zencash, Rolf vs. Lewis, also known as Black Ops. Um, so it's coming from the top of the tree. You can see the statement here, Zencash statement on potential Equihash algorithm change. So, um, I'll just kind of skim through it all. I don't want to, you know, obviously I want you to read it yourself, but I'll, I'll kind of skim, skim through what I consider the, the main points. At the start, they talk about it, um, about how Bitmain can have more than 50% of the mining hash rate. Um, there is a risk to, Zen, to Zencash of being effectively taken over by a single mining company. And they can decide whether to allow the Zen, uh, Zencash blockchain to be upgraded or not. Um, and then they've talked about they can hard fork to a different algorithm. Um, some people are recommending Zencash change the hashing algorithm to keep it optimized for GPU mining, either for a short period of time or to change it as soon as possible and keep it changing to make uh, async mining obsolete. And support of GPU mining, people say GPU miners with the initial supporters um, and people around the world, and it de decentralizes the distribution of new Zen. Um, they talk, I'll talk about this again because in the next section they kind of... Uh, two sections on, they talk about that and how Zencash has actually been distributed better with GPU miners and that's, you know, that's the argument that GPU miners are putting forward. Um, at this point they talk about um, the way that the block reward is rewarded. 100% doesn't go to miners, they get 70%, 10% uh, goes to the treasury, 10% to secure, to secure nodes, 10% to super nodes. Um, so they talk about how Zencash is structured and all that and the benefits of it. And the roadmap and all that. Um, so I kind of touched upon that before because I've done a video about Zencash. So here's here's a section about decentralization. But if we skip down to this part, um, the people who are recommending changing uh, recommending changing the Zencash hashing algorithm to render ASIC miners ineffective for the short term are stressing decentralization is the main reason. Here's the reasons. Miners spread their hash rate among many pools. This be can be seen by looking at which different pools are mining blocks on the Explorer. The Ledger hardware wallet was well received and people were withdrawing Zencash from exchanges to keep on local wallets. The number of secure nodes continued to increase every week and people are planning for super nodes. Again, this helps decentralization. Zencash continues to be listed on more exchanges, including decentralized exchanges, spreading the ownership and trading to many different places. Um, Changing the algorithm is a short-term solution to addressing the creation of ASIC miners or any other hashing algorithm that Zencash could use. As it becomes more popular, there will be more hardware manufacturers working to make specialized hardware to mine it. Very, very true. If there are multiple ASIC mining manufacturers competing with each other to build hardware and sell that hardware to many different miners around the world, there will be less of a concern about centralization. Um, yeah, that, that's one of the discussions that we've been having as well. You know, there's people saying that Samsung are going to come into the game. If... NVIDIA and all these other different companies, you know, tech companies come in and they started offering different uh, mining machines, that would be better because you might have Bitmain with 20%, NVIDIA with 10%, AMD with 30% or 20% or whatever. It does spread the hashing rate around so that, you know, a lot of people say that the decentralization issue is mute because if everyone owned, owned ASIC mining machines, then it wouldn't matter. But the problem is right now is Bitmain pretty much has a monopoly on, uh, on the market. And they have been known for, to mine for months before they release anything. So they're talking about um, the algorithm here. Now, this is something I touched upon with Ewigs the other day. I was talking about e with Ewigs from Bitcoin Private. He's involved in the Bitcoin Private community. He sent me the Equihash white paper on Discord, which I apologize, I've not read uh, fully yet. I kind of skimmed through it. It's not an easy read. It's all calculations and st uh, statistics, etc. But they talk about the key thing here. Uh, the key thing in the Equihash algorithm is the N and K parameters. And right now, N is 200 and K is 9, and this is what all the Equihash coins are using. 209, which is what we're using just now, uses 512 megabytes. With 144.5, if you change those to 144 and 5, 
you would need closer to two and a half gigabytes. So basically, you know, we don't know what's what the the Z9 Mini is going to have as far as internal memory. We don't know if it's reprogrammable, but if you increased the memory requirements, it could stop the the ASIC Mini, the Z9 Mini from working. Now, I would stop that one in the future. Well, you'd have to up those requirements again. We don't know. Uh, we don't know what the Z9 Mini is going to have, but we don't know what any future ASIC uh, mining machines uh, are going to have either. And, and I mean, it is a kind of a game of cat and mouse. Uh, cat and mouse at this point because you can change the parameters. They'll do a, a different ASIC mining machines. You change them again, it's going to keep going back and forth. Um, now the the one four four five parameter. That's basically what Bitcoin Z are trying to do. They're calling it Z hash, but effectively, it's exactly what. Bitcoin Z are trying to do. I believe Bitcoin Private are looking at this. I know Safecoin are looking at this as well. They've been working closely with Bitcoin Z. Um, so it looks like Zencash are considering this as well. Um, and they're talking about modifying it to 1445. Um, so they've got preparation for this because this isn't something that can happen overnight. They need to change a lot of things and they've got a list of things here. Create a new version of Zen software. Test lots of things. Test the block explorers. Issue fixes. Do lots of testing. Um, changing the Zencash algorithm to 1445. Um, so they're going to do, they're trying to, um, to address this threat, the Zencash team intends to do the following decision discovery process. Determine the amount of work required to create a software update hard fork that modifies the Echohash algorithm N and K. Create a timeline for an algorithm hard fork already scheduled, after the already scheduled July 1 performance hard fork upgrade. Research the capabilities of the Bitmain Z miner, which means they've probably bought one so they can analyze it. Uh, research the time frame as well. Um, the team is working to do this within 46 weeks after the July 1st hard fork. Now that isn't going to please a lot of people because um, you know the these new ASIC miners uh, are going to be shipped out at the end of June. So they're going to have a month and a half, a month, maybe two months of being able to mine Zencash before a hard fork comes through. That's how I'm interpreting that there. Um, and then they've got continued future growth and success of Zencash. Um, if you read, you know, a lot of these times when you see official statements, you kind of have to read between the lines sometimes, you know, to get the kind of feel for it. But it looks like they are not wanting uh, any part of uh, ASIC mining. It looks like they're trying to resist. Um, it's, it's a stronger it's anti ASIC mining stance than Zcash gave that that's that's for sure because Zcash were saying they, you know they won't be reviewing it till the end of the year almost um, so they're trying to deal with this and yes they might not hard fork until a month after these miners are out but that seems to be because of all these things have to happen it's simply you know they're against the clock Bitmain are releasing them you know very soon within like six weeks or so doesn't give them a lot of time to do these uh, changes and they can't do these changes until everything's tested and it's okay. But as far as changing to what they call Equihash 1445, this is the basis of Bitcoin Z's Z hash as well. Um, it seems to be the, the quickest way to resolve the situation right now, but there is absolutely no guarantee that it will um, resolve it because we don't know what's going to be in these ASIC mining machines from Bitmain. Perhaps they can change the parameters and there's just like a software update that fixes um, the Z9 Mini so they can still continue to, um, you know, to mine Equihash. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think it's a good response from Zencash. Um, they're explaining the thinking behind it all. And, you know, some people won't be happy that the hard fork isn't going to happen next week or two weeks later or before these machines arrive but you know if you look at what they're trying to do if you look at all the testing they have to do um it's clear it's a lot of work it's a major headache for these coins but they have to do it and um, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do but it looks like they're leaning towards changing it to 1445 right now perhaps in the future down the line they'll change it again to perhaps the the minimum, minimum required which right now is like half a gig it would go to two and a half gig with 1445 Maybe they change again in the future and it goes up to 5 gig, 6 gig. As I said, it's kind of like a game of cat and mouse at this point. They don't know what this machine can do. They don't know if these changes will do what they hope it to do. Um, so we'll see. So I will, as always, link to this statement. You can check it out. Check it in full. Give me your opinion on this. Um, I think I um, appreciate Zencash giving such a kind of comprehensive update on this. 
Um, you know, as good as it is to just see like a you know a tweet saying, "Hey, we're going to stop these async machines." It's good to see a detailed breakdown as to what the problems are as far as decentralization, as far as uh, you know they're seeing. And uh, their evidence is that GPU mining is spreading the wealth of GP, uh, of Zencash around, which is what they want, um, and you know for the hash rate and all that as well. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So please do read this article, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Re this story isn't over by a long shot. We're going to see some more official statements. We're going to see some more changes over the next month or so with hard forks and all that. So please stay tuned. Please do leave a comment below, and if you haven't already did so, please subscribe. Till next time, guys. Take care.